Hi there. We're going to look at a bar soap that comes from one of my favorite manufacturers, and that would be Shea Moisture, if you've never heard of them. A very environmentally friendly company, decent prices, they pay their workers well, and they have excellent soaps. Today I've got with us the Sea Kelp and Pearl Protein Shea Butter Soap with Sea Buckthorn Oil. And I don't even know what Sea Buckthorn Oil is. I'm going to have to look that one up later. All right, here's a closer look at the product. You can find this for $5 at most major retailers. You can also purchase it online through Shea Moisture's website. I'm going to take this out of its package so we can have a closer look at it. Here is the bar unwrapped from the packaging. Feels quite light in my hands, surprisingly. But it is a bigger bar than most. I tend to like the 8 ounce size. Okay, now that you've had a second to take a look at it, I'm going to drive home from the desert and start showering with it. Well, I've actually had some time to look up what sea buckthorn oil is. It is an oil that is derived from fruity plants. It's not uh, scientifically proven to have any sort of effects, but I guess companies like to use it a lot. So after using the soap for several days, what I can tell you is that uh, it's a very uninteresting product. The, uh, the it doesn't really moisturize. It's a soap that leaves your skin neutral, has a creamy, oily lather to it, which does feel good on your skin. And scent-wise, it is entirely unremarkable. It is a mild one, so when you're in the shower, you'll be able to detect something. But once you step out, it's basically gone from your body. And one of the hardest points of making this particular video is describing the aroma. Because it is so uninteresting that when you're showering, you're just thinking of anything else other than the product you're using. Um, I can't describe the scent. It is not bad. It's not great. It just does have an aroma. That's about all I can say about it. So, uh, yeah, you know, if you see it in stores and it's on sale, uh, then you may want to buy it, but I can't recommend paying full price for this. I'm not really in love with it. It's, it's not terrible, but it's really not good either. All right. Thank you for joining me today. I will see you next time.